Hey cool kids, today I have a new speed paint for you and this time it's not actually part of the alphabet challenge so <laughs> that's exciting. I figured I'd mix things up a little this week. Um, I don't have a super deep backstory behind this piece but basically what happened was I was watching a fun fact video on Peach and was talking about how she was originally designed to have cat-like eyes which I thought was cool and then on top of that a month or so ago I was at the thrift store and I saw this cool leather jacket which for some reason I didn't get because it was like $30 and I was like oh when will I ever need a leather jacket like I'll always need a leather jacket so I've been regretting that ever since and since I've been thinking about Princess Peach and leather jackets a lot this just sort of came out of it. Um, my main goal in this piece was to sort of work Peach's and Daisy's character designs into um, more I guess biking-ish look. I don't know if I really pulled that aesthetic off, but I did try. So for example, Daisy has very short sleeves, partially because I wanted to give her like tattoo sleeves and I thought that'd be cool. And also because she has um, short gloves and then Peach has long sleeves because she has long gloves. So like little things like that. a lot with Peach's arm pose and like the entire hand pose in general like originally she wasn't supposed to have her middle finger up but I couldn't get the hand to look right and that ended up looking better and it fit in with like the idea of the piece so I guess it works out but yeah and then for Peach's pendant I also struggled with that because like she has that you know blue gem in the middle of her dress and I wasn't sure how to work that into the design originally I thought about working it into like the jacket but I couldn't really get it to work right and so I ended up going with this like big sapphire pendant which I don't know if it really fits with like the biker theme like don't see a lot of bikers going around with big giant like gems but you know it looks cool and that's what really matters in this I think Peach's shoes are my favorite part of her design like I normally cannot draw shoes for life of me but those shoes are solidly decent like I'd give them maybe a C plus in shoe rating and I think that's pretty good for shoes for the motorcycle, I used a lot of references of different motorcycles. I just had one on my reference page up, but I used a lot of references because I sort of had a general idea of how it wanted to, how I wanted it to look. Like I wanted to have those big like handlebars and like the insides looking sort of exposed. But I know very little about motorcycles. Like I'm sure a lot of motorcycle enthusiasts in the world would be cringing at my motorcycle, but I just wanted it to look cool, and that was the most important part, and I think motorcycles are cool, I just don't know anything about them. Doing the line art for it was a bit of a struggle because it's a very organic structure, and those are much more difficult to line than, like, say, people, because it actually has to look like something, if that makes any sense. Um, with Daisy's tattoos, I actually ended up freehanding them at one point, just because I couldn't get any designs down that I really liked and I'm also not an expert in tattoos much like I'm not an expert in motorcycles. Here I'm doing the color key and for a picture like this which is sort of like 50% original 50% fan work because like the outfit idea I guess was original but you know the characters are fan work it's very important to do a color key so that way I could make sure I was keeping in with our color schemes while still having a look that I wanted to achieve. And now I'm doing the background, and you'll soon notice that there's a big skip in the background between where I'm working on painting the skies, and then suddenly, wow, the background's done. And that's because I forgot to press the record button. And I forgot to do this several times in this process, but this is the part I'm most bummed about, because I actually did a pretty cool method of making the pillars. I used the, I believe it's called the fringe tool, it's under the paint effects, to do the outline for the pillars, so that way I wouldn't have to do an outline, and then I just copied and pasted it, drew on little faces, and did some shading, and I like how they look, and I was really excited to have that part in the video, but it's not gonna be, because I don't know how to press the record button, I guess. The next major block of recording that I'm missing is a little later on in the piece, where I'm doing the base shading of Peach, and that one wasn't nearly as much my fault. I think what happened is my computer glitched out, although I'm not entirely sure and the file got corrupted because I did have some issues with it recording at one point and I think that's when I lost the video but anyways it wouldn't let me import it into Windows Movie Maker. I'm super bummed about that but it happens. With Peach's design I was worried about her being a little bit too monochromatic like I did throw in a couple punches of color mainly with her earring and her eyes but I did I do kind of wish I had given her something more to like pop like with peach she has a big blue pendant in the middle of her chest and daisy doesn't really have that i think 
had I made the mushroom design on her um, back patch more colorful, that might have worked, but I didn't want it to stand out too much. And then with the motorcycles coloring, I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with the coloring for it. I decided on sort of a toadstool-y theme because they are the toadstool bike gang, so I wanted that to tie into it. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to do that or make it like Princess Peach's bike so it'd be all pink or just like a generic Mario bike, which I guess it sort of is. And now I'm doing Daisy's tattoos and I think these do add some color that Daisy was missing. Um, like I said, I did mostly just freehand the tattoos so they're not super complicated but I think they're cool and you know, they add a little bit more personality to Daisy. And then with Daisy's makeup, I wanted her to have like a sort of glam makeup look because if you look at references of her compared to Peach, she does have a bit more of a heavy makeup look whereas Peach has more of a subtle look. And so I wanted to work that into their makeup so Daisy has a whole big um, glam eyeshadow, the giant eyes. I added a little bit of contouring later on. And pretty soon here you're going to see the last bit of video that I failed to record, which I don't even know what happened with this one. I'm not sure if I didn't press the record button or if I just... my computer messed up, but it wasn't in my folder. But basically, for the lighting effect, I didn't catch most of that on camera, but I did what I usually did where I had a layer of purple and I think I applied Multiply to that and I painted that over all of them and then some oranges and some yellows were thrown in there too. But yeah, all in all, I think that's everything I have to say for this piece. I think I'm happy with how it came out. There are some things I would have liked to do differently, like maybe make the line art a little darker because I feel like Peach's face doesn't pop as much as it should. Like there should be more um, value to it, but there's not. But yeah, I do like how this turned out and I hope you like it too. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!